So someone who's listening to this now in Lisbon on business or whatever, and they don't have £1,750 on their credit card or in the bank, what happens to them? Presumably they go, well, as, they go to jail, do they? As ever, um, for, for, for British citizens abroad, they would want to contact the FCDO, the, the post, in the case of uh, someone in Europe, that would be the one in Malaga, uh, and uh, seek help and advice. No, no, they're, uh, la they're landing at Gatwick or, or Heathrow. They haven't got... They take. I mean, how presumably they they get put in a that, bus. That's not that, that's not quite how it works, Nick. So, so, so what actually, happens? You, you, so what happens is you have to have on your passenger locator form indicated uh, where you will be staying, including if you're coming from a red list country. It, it sort of forces the choice into into ensuring that you know you have to be in a quarantine hotel. So as soon as you say. I have been in a red list country, Brazil, South Africa, South America, or Portugal, as, as you say, yeah. it then guides you to that. So you wouldn't end up arriving at Heathrow and suddenly discovering that's something which would have happened But still, you have to give your credit card at check-in, presumably, do you? So, so you will have had to have paid for the, uh, for the, for the package. Right. Uh, and so this is my that, point. Yeah, if you haven't got £1,750, what happens then? As I say, in, in, in extreme hardship cases... Uh, where people have not... Why don't you just jail them? Surely your government would just want to put them in jail, wouldn't you, for not yeah. having 1,750 quid? Wait, that so would be in keeping this, currently, wouldn't it? Uh, How I, about I just five years? Five years if you haven't got enough cash. How about that? Like I see the line of question you're going now. Fortunately, we have a judiciary, we have legal processes to go through. It, it's not that the government bangs anybody in um, jail. Okay. Secondly, there is the FCDO, the Foreign Commonwealth, uh, development office uh, they have uh, posts okay. all around the world in the case of europe you'd be and, contacting them in malaga and finally you'd hold on let me let me finish uh, sorry of course, the situation Schatz, to them. Yep. there are there, there are small amounts okay. always of hardship funds and assistance uh, uh, made available but i don't want to give the impression that you can call up and get, okay. uh, and provide some story the answer is i'm afraid um that uh, actually yeah. um that there are very shrinkingly few reasons now why people would be in a red list country, not have already returned before next okay. Monday. It's quite a lot, uh, though. They've been it? red list countries for 175 a while. £175 pound a night, Mr Shapps. In many parts of the country, that would be like a five-star hotel. It's quite a lot. There was no opportunity to talk of a discount rate here or something. <laughs> no, no, but it's not just for the hotel stay. It, obviously, it's uh, it, it's food. Overall, oh, they get a Scotch out. egg as well, do they? I see. Okay. <laughs> and so, I, presumably... I Presumably, be, hold, hold on. It's also um, there are a series of coronavirus tests. I one see. on day two and one on day eight. You're paying and for that. You're paying for the transportation. You're paying for um, the security because, of course, guests aren't able to meet other guests. I'm afraid. I mean, your point okay. is, is 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 right in one sense. This is a very tough regime. But bear in mind, no, nobody should oppressive. be going on holiday. No one should be leaving this country. No one should be travelling no. around the UK sometimes without people go specific to, reasons, and certainly not. Going sometimes abroad. people go to say farewell to dying relatives or attend funerals something else of course the government isn't currently permitting with a couple who've been married for 50 years and he couldn't say goodbye to his widow but we'll move on from that